In this video, you're going to learn a little bit more about the migration data and the layout of the files that you downloaded from the IRS SOI migration data website. We downloaded individual state files. I am going to demonstrate everything in this project using the state of Hawaii. What we can see within this file is that we have two levels of data. We have county level data showing us migration patterns in and out of particular counties, as well as state level data showing us migration patterns in and out of particular states. For each of these, we have both an outflow and an inflow tab. The outflow tab shows the taxpayers and people that are leaving the state or the county. The inflow tab shows the taxpayers or people coming into the state or county. And it doesn't just show us who was coming in and out, but it also shows us at the state level where they were coming from or where they were moving to. For example, I am on the state outflow tab for the years 2015, 2016, and we can start to see how many tax returns, exemptions, or people and what dollar level of the adjusted gross income went to the states of California, Washington, Texas, Florida, and so on. It is important to note that because of uh, the need to ensure that taxpayer data remains anonymous and or due to data errors, you may not have data for every year for every state that they moved into or outflow, out from. This is going to be important as we start to try to combine our data sets to do some analysis because we could have missing observations. In addition, these files include a foreign migration as well as migration to and from the District of Columbia. Later on, you will have the opportunity to decide if you want to retain these two locations or if you would like to eliminate them from your data set before you do your analysis. If you scroll to the bottom of the data set, you'll notice that the last two rows of the data set contain um, notes from the IRS regarding the data file for us to interpret. We will need to get rid of these notes because they will cause us some problems as we try to use the data to analyze migration patterns. In addition, when we scroll back up to the top of the data set, we see that this Excel spreadsheet is formatted very nicely. It has multiple rows um, that have header rows to tell us what is available within the data set and what is being reported in each column. In addition, it tells us for the adjusted gross income that money amounts are reported in thousands of dollars. So it's important to know what the quantity of data reported is in addition to the types of data that we have reported. Unfortunately, while this data set is formatted very well for Excel, when we import this into Alteryx, these multiple header rows are going to cause a number of different issues for us. This is not unusual for data sets, and that's why whenever you're talking about data, an data analysis, the first thing you have to discuss is how you're going to clean the data to get it prepared to analyze it. Now that we've taken a closer look at our data set, we can go ahead and close Excel. It's important to close Excel because Alteryx is not going to work with open Excel files.